All right, got quite a bit done on the Bronco, making some pretty good headway. Uh, I got the cab bolted down and the dash is complete. I had to do a lot of trimming. I also picked up a different dash. I got the other one over there. Uh, the first dash I used for rough cutting and uh, the second one here is the final cut. Everything fits in there pretty nice. My defrost um, starts from here and goes all the way to the other side. Pretty happy with how that's all fit together. It uh, looks like it belongs in here and that's kind of the whole point. All the wiring is complete and all done. Uh, the only things I need to do is uh, mount the rear window switch somewhere and the uh, pedal uh, adjustment because these are electronic pedals. All the swap helper stuff is in here. Um, everything's in here tucked away nice and neat. You can see I got the electrical uh, circuit boards in here, relay boards. I also have the uh, USB ports here. So if we have a problem with the column helper, cluster helper, or the headlight helper, we can hook this up to the laptop to figure out what's going on with it and for updates. So I'm going to get my ass back to work and hopefully have this running in a couple weeks. Pretty excited. So I'm going to get back at her. coming together pretty decent we got the doors all adjusted and the gap set the fenders are all on gaps are set everything's turning out pretty nice uh, putting all the components in here the computer the brakes the wire harness and everything kind of tucked away uh, reworked some uh, inner fender wells got them to fit So everything I put in here is pretty much everything out of the Super Duty. So if anything needs to be replaced, it is all the Ford OEM parts. Like the reservoir for the uh, power steering. Then you got the reservoir for the windshield washer fluid. Pretty much everything from the Super Duty I'm putting in here. It's all modified to fit. Keep on chugging along.
Alrighty, this Bronco is now finished on my part. Um, everything turned out pretty good. I put a few miles on it. It drove down the road. Amazing. Handled great. I uh, went over to bumps and uh, smooth ride. Lots of power. I didn't get on it too much because of uh, the braking period on the, the engine yet. So, got to be nice to it. Then I took it to QPC. They did a final buff job and wet sanding on this bad boy. Uh, and then I picked it up with my trailer and hauled it back to the shop here just to make sure I didn't get any uh, surprised uh, nicks and scratches because it is going to get hauled out tonight and it's going to make its way down to uh, or over to Washington. Uh, and then Rob is going to do the titanium exhaust and do the titanium piping work underneath the hood and then from there it's going to go right to Texas to the owner uh, he is going to finish up the interior as far as the door panels uh, and all the little interior stuff and seat belts uh, he's got different paneling for it and then he's going to paint it all the match or whatever he's going to do with that so um, otherwise yeah it's pretty much getting closer uh, it is going to be at the Lone Star Throwdown um, truck show in Texas. So if you're out that way, uh, it should be in the PMF suspension booth as far as I know as of now. Uh, hopefully I can make my way down there. Uh, hopefully maybe bring a truck of my own if there's an open spot. And uh, yeah, it should be a cool show. Uh, very happy with how it turned out. Everything in the dash works as it should. Even the key fob. Yeah, I can unlock and lock the doors with the key fob. Turn the key on, you hear the vacuum pump, the fuel pump, and all that stuff working, the glow plugs. Uh, I installed the uh, rear slider window switch here from the 6.0, and I use that to roll the window down in the rear. And then I installed the uh, foot pedal switch here. So I use that to uh, move these pedals in and out. The swap helpers, uh, column helper worked out pretty good. I just put a new uh, a clock spring in here and I can uh, run the uh, climate controls with the steering wheel. So I can turn the temp up and then I can turn the uh, fan speed up and down all by the steering wheel uh, the radio does not work uh, this head unit there's something wrong with that but he's probably gonna put some aftermarket deal on here um, as far as uh, everything else the defrost everything is uh, working great we got these buttons here to reset the trip yeah it's uh Turned out nice. I also made a uh, relay circuit, the motor for the rear hatch. I did my own electrical on it and uh, to work with uh, the truck uh, uh, rear slider button. And also when you put the key in, we can uh, raise and lower the window with the uh, key as well. So that is a very nice feature. Uh, just like it originally had that, but I had to modify and make my own circuit for it to work with the Bronco and with what was in there. I also wired in the uh, OBS switches to work with the uh, Super Duty harness for the windows, uh, the door locks. Uh, we're waiting on the, the power mirror switch, but we do have power mirrors in here. I just don't have the uh, switch yet to wire that in. So now I'm going to get this thing uh, boxed up, pack everything in it that I can that's supposed to go back with it, and uh, send it off. <laughs>